case study on 3D printing. So, what do you mean by 3D printing? You mean 3D model design prototype. So, 3D modeling is developing a prototype. So, normal industries are there will be a lot of damages and repetitive process there will be a minimum of large amount of cost and large amount of waste product has been developed. So, in order to minimize the 3D printer is the most effective manner. So, how it has been working is the product has been designed and then it's lies and then we are creating a model by layer by layer process. This is the important thing. The example is composites 3D printer. Okay. So, in this 3D printer we have used an ABS material. So, the ABS material is easily made and can be able to achieve the product within a design shape by two layer by layer structure. Because the bonding has been great and then are compared to other method. This is an example of fusion deposition. So, FDM process is based on melting and melting and then leading the layer. Okay, now. So, from this there is a bit based upon heat condition where it has been moving from to and fro. This is the nozzle where it has ejected the material within a heated to melting temperature. So, the nozzle gets affected due to overheating. Sometimes if it has get overheated means there will be a loss of materials. Otherwise, it will be kind of like a burn like this smell. So, that smell will uh, affect the equipment. So, that also has to be taken into consideration while visiting the nozzle. Then, the bed, the bed is the important factor where as uh, material has been built upon the, upon the surface of the bed. So, the bed temperature also has key factors. So, when the bed temperature has been key factor means uh, how it has to be designed is like a consideration of how much temperature it can withstand and how much building uh, weight can withstand. These are the considerations we have to take in for bed of the 3D printer. Simultaneously, there, is a, there will be a controller where the any object has been sized into the fed into a controller process where the controller is what type of motion has to be done and how it has to be traveled around this. So, many of you know what is mean by controller in EEC, right? Can, can we, anyone tell about that? Hmm. We can control the motion of any motor side right? yes. normally or any object we have to control anything. So in order to control those we are needed software right. So the any of we have to fit in the motion of the all the tracing part of the nozzle according to the temperature and also it has to obtain the layers how it has to detect it and it has to travel from one place to another place. That is how the control in place and the Software is like uh, slicing the design into several layers. If the uh, layer is 10 mm thickness, we are in the layer is sliced into 10 layers. How many distances I have to calculate? If 10 mm, I have to cut for 10, 10 pieces. How much mm will calculate? 0.1, right? Yeah. If I want to find 5 layers, means 0.2 is right. Okay. Then we have to convert into 3 layers, means 0 0.3. Some now, what is the predefining path we are given to the software? It will automatically slice the layers and then bit acting upon them. Then, another important condition is it has to withstand the overall environment temperature also. If, yeah, because the nozzle is heating a melting point, right? If it has attracted with the atmospheric gas, then what will happen? It is about to burn so much, so much of temperature, then the particle cannot be binded completely. So, in order to uh, convince with the uh, room temperature, there should be a Counted the room temperature as well as the nozzle has to take care of that. So, apart from this, this is the motion layer where it is controlled by the controller to move the front and back directions. Similarly, the software has been fed here and the material has been traveled from this and then enter into the nozzle and then nozzle is transferred the material into an enter of the nozzle state. Once the state has been entering, it is bound to heat, uh, bound to temperature through the heating process. The heating process is done through an electrical conductor. So, when the electrical conductivity has been taken into consideration, the material gets melted and then the deposition has been taken place on the above of the surface. So, the bonding temperature is more important when compared to other materials. The fusion deposit material is greater than powder based materials or some other very pure. So, the fusion deposit material is normally an important thing compared to other 3D manufacturing processes like laminated object manufacturing, SLS, and uh, SLA. Why this is considered means? This is a low cost and low effective and easily manageable and we can able to build the layer with an adhesive properties when compared to other materials. If there is any queries you can ask, otherwise we will conduct this session. How much is total cost? Uh, this is around uh, 12,480 rupees done by the students. So if you are going for an industry photo, there will be a large amount, uh, large basis effort based upon the requirement and the materials we are going to continuously propose. 
Now, no, maybe we this. this is only for study purpose. They have made it with the students of 2014 impacts for the development of um, students. So, this is the basic materials has been developed. Uh, like for life or the small, small component has been developed here. Okay. okay thank you. Thank you. Thank you.